financial turmoil. So the question becomes, who can you trust? Who can you trust for advice? The basic rule of thumb in trust is that politics corrupts. So whenever you trust someone who's involved in politics, you can be sure that that's a bad thing to do. It's a bad place to put your trust in anyone involved in politics. What you should aim for are individuals. You should ask yourself, do I trust that person, yes or no? And I believe that people have, from their very childhood are raised to recognize whether or not you can trust someone. So if you can trust someone, a one specific person, you can work your way up from there. Because we're all just people anyway. It's you and me and every single one out there. And some people are trustworthy and some are not. And when people get together, it's all about politics and you can't really trust people anymore because they have an agenda. Some people go out and tell the truth regardless. Telling the truth has a high price. And some people are willing to pay that price. And you can usually recognize who they are. Because the people that are very good at politics and doing the politics game, they're usually not very controversial. People telling the truth are sometimes very controversial. So people who are never controversial, you can be pretty sure they're not telling the truth but doing their politics. So find individuals that you trust and trust them. Do not trust the organizations they work for or what they say when they are representing their organizations. Aim for the individuals themselves and find where they are speaking from the bottom of their heart and trust that. That is where you should find your advice and the people to listen to. And you can find them online now. If you're searching all over the place, you will soon recognize the names that you find trustworthy and, and people that uh, sound like they, they're speaking from the bottom of their heart and know what they're saying. So go for the individuals. But also, give these individuals some slack. Remember that if you work for a large organization, you have a PR department and you have all kinds of people making things very slick and nice and, and looking good. The government, of course, is the ultimate example of that. But single individuals that are speaking the truth and paying the price for speaking the truth, they don't have a PR department. They don't always have a very slick approach to everything. They... They manage by themselves and they put stuff together by themselves. They write by themselves and they publish by themselves. So usually the trustworthy stuff, the, the good stuff, doesn't look as slick as the organizational stuff, the stuff that's all involved in politics. So give, give the truth sayers some slack. You know, it, It's not always necessarily so slick and nice. Find individuals you trust and trust them for who they are.